Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy Tuesday to you. I found it very, very odd and interesting, these outages in the last few days. You know, of course, of course Coinbase does what Coinbase does. But ASX and a, another major um, financial institution as well with these outages, um, I just find it odd, uh, kind of the timing of those. We go over those a little bit. Um, certainly, uh, the big news of the day is, is, is XRP uh, hitting that 30 cent uh, mark. Uh, I got to tell you, BC backers said, th you know, if we get past that 30.5, that's really significant. Uh, DIY investing, you know, he says, um, you know, look for this to get up to 50 cents. So uh, that is going to be cool. Of course, some people don't want to hear anything until we do at least 50 cents. I get that. I get that. I hope that XRP Crypto Wolf and Crypto Eddie got my message. If he, uh, if you guys can make sure they got that message that um, uh, from, from, from us, the family here at this channel, that we appreciate them uh, big time. And we do not, we do not take what you guys do for granted here. Certainly on the Crypto Seizures channel, we do not do that. And uh, I heard some good news. I think Crypto Wolf is going to, um, start a Patreon and start, you know, and start a YouTube channel. And I say, thank you. Thank you, my friend, for doing that. Thank you, my friend, for doing that. And I wish you nothing but the best of success on your journey of growing a channel, uh, kind of getting into the entrepreneur world, if you will, uh, and putting together your Patreon. I'm sure that it will be a big time value add without question. All right, guys, listen. So this is your XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes. Let's do this. I am going to start with the market. Let's look at the market real quick. 17,000 for BTC. Interesting. <sighs> interesting. It's going to be interesting to see. Now, BC Backer, if you guys uh, know, uh, haven't checked out his course, I highly recommend you get his course, right? This is about leveling up your IQ. This is this is a big time value add. This course, it's at bcbacker.com. Um, I definitely strongly recommend that you check it out. In fact, I'm going to hit up two people from the family in the channel and see if we can't go through um, some of it together. Um, I purchased a course. I really, really enjoy it. But I really have some questions, and uh, I want to kind of get some really smart dudes, two of the many smart dudes on the channels, get their perspective on some of the stuff there in that channel. So uh, anyway, Big TC is at seventeen thousand, and uh, yeah, seventeen thousand. You know, and, and yeah. Anyway, get that course. Man. Get the course. Get the philosophy. Get the course. See if it resonates with you. See if it makes sense. You know, run it across some other people, right? See if it makes sense to you. Highly recommend it. Uh, Bitcoin over seventeen thousand. Ethereum is at four hundred and sixty nine dollars. Uh, XRP is uh, twenty nine nine, almost thirty cents, and that is cool. Lynx number five. Wow, at uh, twelve dollars and seventy seven cent. Litecoin seventy three dollars. Bitcoin Cash two hundred and forty eight dollars. The Binance coin is at $28.50. And polka dots $4.83. Cardano, 11 cents. How about that? And Bitcoin Satoshi Vision is $162. So it's pretty much of a uh, pretty green, pretty green, pretty green for the day. And that's cool. In the last 24 hours, XRP is up 6%. BTC is up 3.8%. I, I, I'm, I'm just so excited for the market to kind of see how things are going to turn out. Most importantly, though, um, having a plan and a strategy for this bull run is most important. Highly, highly, highly uh, recommend it. And um, I, for me, I'm looking at the one strategy right now. That's BC Backers and his strategy. I want to see what that looks like, if that makes sense, right? Uh, and, and, hope to, and use that information to formulate my own plan, right? My own uh, plan. For this market right kind of kind of my bigger goal and it's it's a real challenge to have a goal for the uh charts and, tr and then have a goal for the fundamentals right uh because when the fundamentals kicked in and or kick in um it can make things significant and in my opinion it could change the way you do things in the charts 
Um, I think there's a, there's, a, there's a big challenge between the reality of the price, the dream of the price, and um, I say pullback. Some might say correction. That's something to really, really, really look in. Really, 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 really look into. And I guess the value in the charts and doing things from the charts is remember when you get that win and you get those wins, um, you and your household put a certain amount of money in. Right. And if you win at, at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 percent, 8,000, 10,000 percent, when you win, that's other people's money now. Right. And, and so the reality is if you cash out or if you do something, whatever, let's say you cash out at 10 bucks. The reality is that's a major, major win. The dream is $50. The dream is $100. The dream is $1,000. That's the dream. The reality is $10. The pullback or correction could be $3. So you have to have a strategy, I think, to really kind of leverage what's going to go on from the TA, from the charge perspective and, and be good with that, right? Be good with it. So I'm, I'm really going to, I can't wait to have a conversation. I'm going to uh, uh, talk to a couple of people, share some stuff and have this conversation because uh, this kind of, uh, this kind of, uh, that dream reality, um, 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 what is the word? Um, the dream reality uh, ratio, if you will, or uh, dynamic, that's what I want. The dream reality dynamic and the pullback and or correction is an interesting one. Interesting, interesting one. Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting one. All right, so uh, let's see what else we got going on here. There that is there. That is the market. Let me share something that I just find to be very, very interesting. I just think it's just like, it's, so it's the ECB. ECB to probe major payment system outage. The European Central Bank said in money, it was launching an independent review of a major outage of its payment system, systems and other incidents affecting, like why, right? That's one, ECB. And then there was, uh, where's the ACS? Where is that AES? I must have lost it. There it is right here. Shout out to Alejandro Martinez. What's good, bro? Como esta, mi amigo? ASS down. Australian share market shuts due to data fault. ASX kind of having some issues. This is a major exchange, right? Um, ECB payments platform, this outage. I find it odd. I really do find it odd, the timing of it, this stuff happening. The Australian share market has shut down this morning due to a data fault that has left investors high and dry. It, I, I don't know, it just seems odd to me. Bank XRP share, just shout out to Bank XRP. PayMix Pro is part of RippleNet and active in XRP. Payment Pro is part of RippleNet, active in the XRP. PayMix Pro is also connected to the various local payment solutions in different jurisdictions. Paymax Pro is being operated by banking veterans with experiences in corporate banking, treasury and cross-border payment industries. Finance Incorporated Limited was formed in Malta and received this license from Malta Financial Services Authority in 2015. It says it's part of RippleNet and active and XRP. And so it shows here their partners. And we're in, lo and behold, there's Ripple right there. So that is some interesting stuff. Paymix Pro, I don't know much about them. Thank you, Bank XRP, my friend. Thank you for sharing uh, with the community. But that's interesting stuff, right? And so again, that is, right? And, and, and something like this, for example, is that whole reality at 10 to $13. And the dream, if you will, 50, 100. 
$1,000 because of fundamentals, because of utility. That's the challenge. It, re <clears throat> it really, really is. The challenge with fundamentals and utilities, it could, is that it could, uh, the effect from that could be years from now, <laughs> right? The effect of that could be years from now. And it's something that we all have to factor. Are you going to save 70, 80% for years from now? Or are you going to only save 30 or 20% for years from now versus your reality? That's the question. <laughs> that is the question. All right. So what else we got here to share with you guys? Oh, see, shout out to Julian Flash. What's going on, my dude? Appreciate you taking the time and energy and resources to share, especially when it comes from the OCC, my bro. OCC finalizes a rule to eliminate unnecessary licensing requirements, permitting non-controlling investments and pass-through investments in entities that have not agreed to OCC's per, uh, supervision and permitting certain uh, other and other investments without a filing, again, I think anything that the OCC does or Mr. Brian Brooks is um, is uh, substantial and it is worth noting because this guy has a big picture. He really, really does. And um, I like to see what he's doing. I like what he's doing. And I know he's gonna kind of come up against it, but it feels as though he can handle it and, and move forward. That last thing with uh, uh, those uh, that Congress, a woman was, ugh, yeah, was not good. All right, what else we got? Uh, shout out to DIY Investing. We shared just what uh, he said. Well, I was going to sleep and then I looked at the XRP chart. Is it Christmas? 30% is, is about to get smashed. And hi, baby. And is about to get smashed as we rally up to 50 cents to complete the inverse head and shoulder formation. Haters in disbelief. That's a pretty powerful tweet right there. Pretty powerful tweet. And, and someone underneath here tweeted some stuff as well. Motish Roman, Roman, I've seen that name before. I feel like, <coughs> hello, nice reaction to the bullish cut of the EMA. 20 out of 50 expected, expects to go up in this triangle and in the direction of 50 cents. It, what is your realistic target in this run? DIY investing, twenty to thirty dollars. Well, there it is. There it is. Uh, shout out to Crypto Eddie. I hope you I hope you're doing well, my friend. Very interesting. Uh, the Chinese government suspended Huobi in its attempt to snag Japan and South Korea's largest exchanges. Interesting. Chinese government did that. So. We is a uh, what is this says Wu blockchain exclusive. Wu learned that Huobi, China's largest exchange, is trying to acquire Japan's largest exchange, Bitflyer, and Korea's largest exchange, Bit. Um, the price of Bitflyer is five hundred million U.S. dollars. However, as Huobi is investigated by the Chinese government, both will be suspended. Investigated. It, it, uh, it's got to be tough to, uh, uh, yeah, it's got to be tough. Wow. Uh, so you can't say very many, very many political things here anymore on YouTube because they got all these different things that they want to do. And yeah, but that's got to be very, very tough for those at Huobi, right? I love to see this right here. Shout out to Bloomberg Economics for sharing this. Barring a surprise, the Federal Reserve's Board of Governors is about to get its most controversial new member in decades. And that, my friends, would be Judy Shelton. Fed nominee Shelton set for razor then vote in the Senate today, Tuesday. So look, we are certainly gonna hear about that. That'll be all over Twitter. And I'm sure there will be some videos on it. Barring a surprise in Capitol Hill, the Federal Reserve's Board of Governors is about to get its most controversial and contentious new member in decades. 
I'm excited for this. This is going to be some interesting thing. And the timing of it is certainly, certainly going to be <laughs> uh, phenomenal. So uh, shout out to Bond, Crip, XRP. He's got a, a bunch of great tweets here in, in his feed. But I wanted to share this one. It's VeChain Toolchain receives innovation award at, at the largest exhibit, exhibition in China. VeChain Foundation has established valuable contacts with tech giants of the industry at the China International High Tech Achievements Fair. Interesting thing about VeChain is, is, is it's the big and back and forth about, uh, you know, you know, the China thing and um, what's going to happen there. Uh, but if to me, they're making moves. Sonny Lou is doing his thing. They're establishing working uh, partnerships. But I tell you, I'll get one or two people who constantly say that it's all fake, that all the stuff from VeChain is fake, that it's not real partnerships, it's not working stuff. So that is interesting to, 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 to see when someone comes in and says those things. Um, I, it, it's interesting. So, but Innovation Award, Innovation Award at the largest exhibition in China. Shout out to VeChain, always been a big fan. You know that on this channel, we've been a big time fan of VeChain and all the things that they're doing there. Bon Krip had another thing that I think is interesting. Mike Novogratz Galaxy Digital to launch new Bitcoin, Bitcoin fund in Canada. Galaxy Digital has partnered with major Canadian investment company, CI Global Asset Management to launch a public BTC fund in the country. People are making moves. It's an exciting time right now. Uh, really, really exciting. Can't wait to see um, the XRP community, especially uh, be able to uh, finally take advantage of this long, 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 long bear market and, you know, have your rewards of patience and due diligence and, you know, intestinal fortitude, have it all pay off for you. Um, I'm really, really excited for you. Dreams versus reality versus that pullback. How are you going to play it? What's your mindset around that? Um, yeah, I encourage you to, to get a, another perspective to help you in that perspective. Check out bcbacker.com and go through that course. It'll be, it's a great value add uh, in my humble opinion. All right, guys, listen, I am going to wrap up this video like I do all of my videos and remind you guys of this. That old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather we, us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. By the way, guys, make sure you check out the links in the description of all of my videos for Celsius. Certainly check out the, the ledger. Uh, definitely trusted viable links because this is the things that I use myself. Uh, so you don't have to worry about all the phishing things that can happen out there in this crazy well. Earn, act like the 1% of the 1%. Learn how to earn interest on your money and then earn interest on that interest at Celsius. The link is in the description. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.